This is Chad with the iPhone blog and today we're going to look at Bento from FileMaker. And Bento is a great uh, database application that allows you to sync to your iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad. Comes with a bunch of built-in libraries, really easy to use. You have a built-in address book which kind of pulls in all of that information from uh, your address book into a database that allows you to add a lot more customized fields than, than what comes with the iPhone. You have projects, uh, and these are sample uh, databases that I put in here just to play around with a little bit. Um, so here is the triathlon, here's a wine label, uh, design and information, and you can expand uh, some of the fields to, to look at more information, as you see here. Uh, you have a to-do items uh, database, so you can see, you know, buy groceries, plan a vacation, kind of look at that stuff. You can have a little drop-down lists here. Let's show you different stages of where things are at. You can say, hey, I need to pay a telephone bill. Uh, you have uh, notes. So if you're taking notes, so you can see here, here's a weekly meeting note or a principles of design note. And if you tap the little expansion field here, I can do it. So it's tricky while you're holding the camera. Uh, you'll see you can get some information to type. And you can tap over here and expand out as needed. Another great one here they have built in is expenses. So you have little check boxes you can use. And, and this might be a good time for to show you how you do some of your editing. So up top here, uh, you can click the plus sign to add a new record. You know, you can add maybe your expense types that you're looking for. But then you have this pencil. The pencil allows you to add some built in fields, or you can just take and add uh, your own field. And maybe I want to place it down here. And when I do that, it wants to know, well, what type of uh, field do I want to add? So I have text, number, media, uh, time field, date, duration, currency. You can put in ratings, email addresses, URLs, uh, IM account. So choice uh, is kind of neat. So you choose create, and then you type in a name, you add a choice, type in another name, add another choice. So very easily uh, customizable. Um, over in the top corner here, you can choose your different sorting settings. You know, do you want to I have them ascending, descending, what do you want to sort by, those types of things, pretty nice. Uh, one of my favorites here is a really good example is uh, 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 recipes. So over here, uh, you can see you have an apple pie, and if you click on this, you can expand it and collapse it. You can see the cook time, rating time, and of course, you can read more about it. And as you go lower, you can collapse and expand the ingredients and directions, so very, very nice. And, of course, like I said, adding the, the graphics uh, are fantastic. It looks really, really good. Um, of course, you can rotate and look at the app and, and look at it in one way or another, but this gives you a pretty good representation of, of what it looks like. You have some basic settings, uh, and, of course, you can also uh, create a, a new library, and you can see you have a built-in templates, you know, to-do items, recipes, diet logs, uh, lots of fun things, time, billing, home inventory, exercises, and then all the way at the end, when you get done, uh, you have a, a blank one, so you can go ahead and make, make your own if you want. So lots of fun. You can even do items sold if you use this for eBay, issue tracking if it's a, your small business. So things to keep in mind, you can use this for a lot of different things. It's very robust. The app is only $5, and it is fantastic. If you have Bento for the desktop and the iPhone, it's that much better. You can synchronize all your information over Wi-Fi. Um, I definitely give this app a thumbs up. It's very easy to use. It's probably the easiest database-like tool I've ever used. And uh, at the same time, it's uh, pretty robust. It has lots of, lots of uh, useful tools uh, to, to work with. So again, if you're looking for a database on the iPad, uh, this is pretty much the place to go. It's one uh, really good app.